nervous system have you ever wondered how do you remember what you have studied in your school today why do your eyes blink who makes your hand move to do any work this is your nervous system your nervous system controls the activities of all parts of your body it is the most complex system of all the body systems it gives instructions to the body to work in an appropriate way the nervous system our nervous system is made up of three parts the brain the spinal cord and the nerves brain the brain is the control center of our body it uses the instructions it receives from nerves to coordinate all the actions and reactions it helps us to think remember feel and move our brain is protected by the skull it has three main parts the cerebrum and the medulla cerebrum the cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain its surface has deep folds and grooves it controls our thinking our learning our thoughts our memory and basic intelligence cerebellum the cerebellum is situated at the back of our brain and below the cerebrum it is much smaller than the cerebrum it controls the balance and coordination and movement of muscles medulla the medulla is situated beneath the cerebrum and in front of the cerebellum it connects the brain to the spinal cord it controls all the functions our body needs to stay alive like breathing air digesting food and circulating blood spinal cord the spinal cord is a long bundle of nerves that extends from the lower part of the brain down through the spine it is protected by the backbone it is made up of many nerves that originate from the spinal cord and form a network all over the body the messages between the brain and rest of the body travels through the spinal cord nerves our nerves work like a postman they carry messages from different parts of our body to the brain as the postman delivers our letters from the post office at our doorstep nerves are made up of thin threads of nerve cells called neurons we have three types of nerves sensory nerves it sends messages from the sense organs to the brain or spinal cord motor nerve it sends messages from the brain or spinal cord to the muscles or glands mixed nerve it carries messages to and fro from the brain reflex our brain is the control and coordinating center of all actions and reactions but some of our actions are not controlled by the brain they are called reflex actions for example when you touch a hot object accidentally you pull back your hand immediately why sensory nerves in our skin send a message of pain to our spinal cord the brain then sends a message back telling the muscles in our hand to pull away like this our nervous system works sense organs we have five sense organs eye nose ears tongue and skin they help us to feel the world around us let us study more about the sense organs eyes our eyes help us to see things around us they are set in bony sockets called eye balls which are further protected by eyelids and eyelashes eyelids and eyelashes keep the eyes dust free the transparent area in the front of the eyes is called cornea the colored part of the eye is called iris pupil is the black circle in the center of the iris the light enters the eye through the pupil when light is bright the pupil gets very small when light is dull the pupil gets bigger in size after the light enters the pupil it hits the lens lens lies behind the iris and it is clear and colorless the lens focuses the picture on the retina cells in the retina are sensitive to light and color retina has many nerves called optic nerves these nerves pass the message from retina to the brain care of eyes wash your eyes with cold water keep distance between you and your book while studying do not look to direct sunlight do not watch tv or work on computer for long hours nose our nose helps us to smell and breathe our nose has nasal cavity inside it at the upper end of our nose millions of hair like nerve cells are present these nerve cells produce signals that are passed to the brain care of nose blow your nose to clean it do not blow it very harshly cover your nose while passing through smoke in dusty area do not put any object in your nose ears 
Our ears help us to hear different sounds. The ear has three parts, inner ear, middle ear and outer ear. We can only see the outer ear. Sound enters the outer ear and then passes into the middle ear. Then the sound hits the eardrum. When sound passes through the eardrum, it produces vibrations. These vibrations pass into the inner ear and send signals to the brain through nerves present in the inner ear. Care of Ears Always clean your ears with a cotton bud. Protect them from getting wet. Do not put sharp or pointed object in your ear. Keep distance from loud sounds. Tongue Our tongue helps us to taste different things. Its surface is covered with tiny bumps. Inside the bumps are many taste buds. Taste buds are collections of nerve-like cells that send signals to the brain. There are four types of taste buds, sour, sweet, bitter and salty. Our tongue also helps us in chewing food and talking. Care of tongue Clean your tongue regularly with a tongue cleaner. Do not eat or drink anything very hot or very cold. Skin Our skin helps us to feel the different things. Our skin has nerve endings that help us to feel hotness, coldness, roughness, smoothness and pain. Under our skin, there are nerves that collect information and send it to brain. Care of skin. Keep your skin clean by washing it. Always wear clean clothes. Always use an antiseptic cream when your skin gets hurt. Eat healthy food and drink plenty of water.